Hey guys, this is MJ with, with another tutorial whether how we can record vendor discount in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, negotiating with suppliers is an essential business skill that can help you achieve your business goals as it helps you secure better prices, discounts and terms which can result into significant cost savings for your business. Anyhow, in this tutorial, I will record discounts by creating purchase orders and bills. Well, before recording discounts, we need to set up a few things like subtotal, terms and discount account so that we can track it properly. So go to items and services and search subtotal. Here you can see that it showed up which means that it has already been set up but if it doesn't just select new under items and create one. And if you still feel doubtful, watch my tutorial about subtotal where I have not only set it up but also applied to invoices. And I will mention its link in the description for your convenience. Now let's set up terms and to set up terms, go to list and select terms list under customer and vendor profile list. And by default, QuickBooks has already set up some terms for us but to make it clear, I'm creating one. So click on terms and select new. Here at net days, and then add the number of days a discount is being offered for. And if we pay within these certain days, we will receive a certain percentage as discount. And then give it a name. And then click on OK. And here you can see a new term has been set up. Now let's search discount. And here you can see that an item named discount showed up, which we have created in our previous tutorial. When we were talking about customer discount, I will mention the link of the tutorial in the description for your convenience. Anyhow, since this tutorial is about vendor discounts, we will set up a new discount account that will help us track the discount we will receive from our vendors. So go to chart of accounts to see if we already have one. Here we have only one cost of goods sold accounts which we sure can use but to track the discount properly, I am going to set up one. So click on account and select new and it's your discretion whether you want to track it as an expense account or a cost of goods sold account. Well, I'm going to track it as a cost of goods sold account because the services I'm going to buy are actually the ones we offer. So in other words, I'm just subcontracting the services. That's why I'm tracking it as a cost of goods sold account. So click on this drop down and select cost of goods sold and then click on continue. Well, since the services I'm going to buy are actually being subcontracted, that's why I'm going to create a couple of accounts. The first one is subcontracts. And instead of clicking on save and close, I'm going to click on save and new so that I can create the other ones right away. Well, the services I'm going to buy are actually the design services. So I'm going to create an account named design income. You can name it whatever you want and make it a sub account of subcontracts. Now click on save and new and create a new account named discount received and make it a sub account of either subcontracts or design income. And to keep it simple, I'm making it a sub account of subcontracts and then click on save and close. And here you can see that our accounts have been set up. Well, the subtotal, terms and discount account have been set up. Now, let's apply discount while creating purchase order. So, go to purchase order and select your vendor. And then add some items. And here you can see that as soon as I try to add an item, QuickBooks gave me a prompt mentioning that this item is associated with an income account. Do you want to continue? Well, since we are going to subcontract it, we need to check it whether it's been set up for subcontracting or not. So close the purchase order and go to items and services. And then double click on the service you want to subcontract. And then click on this checkbox which says 
this service is used in assemblies or is performed by a subcontractor or partner. This is exactly what we wanted. So write the cost you will bear by subcontracting this service and to track it, select the design income account which we have created as a cost of goods sold account. And also, you sure can select a preferred vendor but for now, I'm not going to. And then write the description if you want and then click on OK and then click on Yes. Now, we have just set it up as a service that can be subcontracted too. And let's set up a couple more. Now, we have just set up a few services that can be subcontracted. And now, let's create a purchase order. So, go to purchase order and select a vendor. And here you can see that ship to address is showing the address of our fictitious customer which you sure can change by selecting the customer here. Now add some items and subtotal. And then record the purchase order by clicking on save and close after making some changes according to your needs. Now click on the receive inventory and since it was a service and the designs will be sent to the customer directly, select receive inventory without bill. Here select the vendor and as soon as you will select a vendor, QuickBooks will give you a prompt that this vendor has an open purchase order. Do you want to receive against one or more of these? Well yes, we want to. So click on yes and it will open a small window where QuickBooks will show all the open purchase orders against this vendor. Just select the one you want and click on OK. It will populate it with the particulars of the selected purchase order. And here you can see that is checked mark as available items which means QuickBooks will track it as an outstanding billable items and will show us when we will create an invoice against this customer. Anyhow, here under expenses tab, we can add the discount we received after doing some negotiations. So select your discount account and add your discount amount negatively. And here you can see that the bill amount has decreased from 450 to 400. And then click on save and close to record it. And then go to enter bills against inventory. And as soon as you will select the vendor, it will show the bills. Just select it and click on OK. And here you can see that everything has been populated again. Just make some changes if there is a need or click on save and close to record the bill. Now the bill has been created and to pay it just go to pay bills and if you find a long list of bills here just filter it by selecting the vendor here. And here you may have observed that no discount information is being provided and it's just because that the discount has been applied while creating the bill. And if you want to see the bill, just click on go to bill and it will take you to the concerned bill. So select the bank account here you want to use to make payment of this bill and then click on pay selected bill to pay it. Here QuickBooks is just providing you with some summary of this payment where you will have options to pay more bills or print checks. And for the time being, I'm just closing it. Now, let's apply discounts while creating bills. And while creating bills, I will apply discounts with and without using terms and with the combination of both. So, go to enter bills and select your vendor. And then add some items. and then add some terms, which means that if we pay this bill within 12 days, we will get 4% discount. Less the date of the bill is 2nd March, which means if we pay this bill till 14th March, we will be entitled to receive 4% discount we are being offered. Then add your customer here you are subcontracting it for. And here you can see that it's been checked mark as a billable items, which means QuickBooks will track it as an outstanding billable items and will show us when we will create an invoice against this customer 
And as soon as you will click on save and close, QuickBooks will give you a prompt mentioning that you have changed the terms for this bill. Just click on yes to record the bill. Now let's go to pay bills and select the bill you want to pay. And as soon as you will select the bill, QuickBooks will not only inform you about the terms that has been applied to this bill, but also calculate the amount of the discount for you. And when you click on set discount, you will see the full information of this bill. And when I change the date exceeding the suggested discount limit, which is 14th March, and go to set discount, it does give me the terms information, but it does not calculate the discount amount anymore because the suggested discount amount limit has gone. So to apply the discount, I'm changing the date back within the suggested discount amount limit. And then go to set discount again and select the discount account and then click on done. And here you can see that the discount has been applied to this bill and then click on pay selected bills to make payment of this bill. Now let's create another bill and this time we will not add any terms to apply discount. So go to enter bills and select your vendor. And then add some items. And make it billable. Now remove the terms if show up. Then change the date and then click on save and close to record the bill. Now go to pay bills and select the bills you want to pay. And this time when you select the bill it does not show any suggested discount amount info here and it's just because there were no terms applied to this bill. So if you want to apply some discount to this bill, just click on set discount and add your discount amount here. And when you try to add the discount in terms of percentage, it won't allow. So add it in terms of dollar amount and then select your discount account and then click on done. And here you can see that the discount has been applied to this bill and then click on pay selected bills to record your bill. Now let's create another bill which includes both the discount and terms. So go to enter bills and select your vendor. And then add some items and discount. And here you can see that the total amount of the bill was 1050 out of which we already have applied some discount which decreased the bill amount to 975 and above it we are also being offered more discount in terms of applying terms to this bill and to keep it simple I'm not making it billable and then click on save and close to record the bill and then go to pay bills and select the concerned bill And as soon as you will select the bill, it will give you the information about the suggested discount again as it did before. So just go to set discount and select the discount account and then click on done. And here you can see that the discount has been applied to this bill. And the total amount of the bill now is 936. And then select your bank account you want to use to make payment and then click on pay selected bills to record your bill payment. And when you go to profit and loss statement here you can see that how design income and discount received has been categorized separately under cost of goods sold. And it's just because we have created them as a cost of goods sold accounts. And when you double click on discount received, it will open a detailed report, which you can customize and make decisions according to your need.
Well, since we haven't created any sales transactions, that's why it's showing the negative amount. Now, let's create an invoice of the items we have made billable. So, go to create invoices and select the customer we have subcontracted it for. And as soon as you will select the customer, QuickBooks will inform you that this customer has some outstanding billable items. And certainly we want to create an invoice against these outstanding billable items. So click on OK and it will open a window where you need to go to under items tab and select all the billable items. And it will populate the invoice with all the items we have subcontracted. And then click on save and close after making some changes. And then go to receive payments and select your customer. And then select the invoice you are receiving your payment against and click on save and close after making some changes according to your needs. And now when you go to profit and loss statement again, it gives you the full information of the items we subcontracted and the net profit. And this is how you can record vendor discount in QuickBooks desktop. And if you have stayed this far, please consider supporting by liking, subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.